I think it's very important for parents, and especially, and also young people, to know how dangerous these products really are. There have been documented reports of, of after single uses of these drugs, um, people becoming homicidal, um, becoming suicidal, and in fact, there are cases of, of uh, suicide that have occurred. Uh, and in fact, people have become psychotic after using these substances um, only as few times as once or twice. So it, it's just really critical to understand that, that the effects of these things are very unpredictable. So while you think you might be getting a legal high, what you may be getting uh, would be brain damage and permanent disability. So it's already known that methamphetamine releases dopamine. And because mephedrone is similar in structure, we thought it would release dopamine. So when we did our experiments, we found that it gave a signature consistent with mephedrone releasing dopamine. So we thought we were on the right track doing good things. Then we started studying another compound. We studied many compounds, by the way, but we were focusing on the two ingredients of bath salts. So we started studying another synthetic cathinone, and that is MDPV, expecting it to behave like methamphetamine or mephedrone, but it didn't. Instead, it behaved like cocaine. Dopamine, like, like any uh, neurotransmitter, any compound in the body, sugar, anything, has a level where it's supposed to be. So let's think of a sink, and let's think of water in the sink, and let's think of that as the correct level for dopamine, this level of water. So what methamphetamine does is it turns the faucet on in the sink, and so the level would rise. Mephedrone also does that. What cocaine does leaves the faucet alone, and it closes down the drain. So again, the level would rise. And what bath salts does is it opens the faucet, and it closes the drain. So of course, the level would rise abnormally in that situation.